and we go back so in the previous part we have added two different products one is variable and one is simple product so in the meantime i have added different products inside our store now it's time to talk about i have just left two different products and i'm going to add it in a different way so now it's time to talk about that way which is the importing your product through csv file okay so i made this csv file but not, i'm not going to work with it so i'm going to simply close this file okay and i'm not going to save this okay so these are our products so we have to export it first export all of those products and all of those columns and generate csv so our csv is downloaded and open your csv make sure this is not default excel file this is the csv file so wordpress always takes csv file or if you're working with excel file and if you want to change that into csv then you can go to file and if when you save as then you can select this comma separated value this one if you are working with xlsx okay so so these are your products that have been exported so i want to add two different products from here so these are the ideas generated by our wordpress so these two ones are variable products so it is showing the variations on this nav 5 and nav 3 in the previous video we have talked about it so we will be adding our simple product in here simple and simple okay we will give them sku as one two and we will add as one three random name you can add your on sku if you're following this tutorial for your e-commerce store okay the first product that is i'm going to add is garlic fresh and published i want to publish this and is feature is feature mean okay i will talk about it later on what is is feature mean but you have to just select it zero is feature mean just you have to feature your product that is going to be shown inside here so these are the featured products so in order to display them we have to give it one so we will add it later on so we just give it visible and visible this product as well and i'm going to write the product name and write fresh mango okay so we'll write the description in here as we have write the short description for this and for this product but i'm going to add this is the wholesale product as a short description for now okay and this is your long description okay you can add your long description in here okay i have not added long descriptions for remaining products so we can add this is a whole sale product of course you can add your description and short description as we have added like this is the short description and this is a long description you can copy this and paste it in here you can write your own and i want this as a taxable so i'm going to paste it in here and this is your text class so i'm going to write text class as 22 and for this i'm going to write is as 10 and in stock yes this product is inside stock so we have to write one month so the stock is 50 and whenever when you not write the stock it will give you out of stock error so you have to write 50 50 and 50 products i'm going to write 50 products for every product okay so in here back orders so we will write back order zero or we can write back orders one we have added one for one of the product 
add sold it video right zero for those products as we have added these two products for now just remember this restaurant products are added inside your store so we will remove them for now okay allow customer review so we have to write customer can write a review for this product okay so we have we haven't added the review for this product inside this site but we can write review so that customer can place review for your product okay so we have to write a sale price or we have to write a regular price as well so i have not added sale price for different products as we have added before we have just added simple or variable product we have added sale price nine five and i'm going to add sale price four and the regular price is 5.5 .5 and 3 I'm writing it as a random number okay so this is your category okay so category fresh garlic is going to be added inside vegetable okay and this is going to be added inside fruit so we'll write it as fruits okay so we have to write the tags in here and we will write tag as mango we will write mango and we can write fresh mango and another one is garlic so we can write here garlic or fresh garlic Okay, remember we can add shipping class in here if you want to write shipping class you can add shipping class so now it's time for your f images okay and we will add images in here first we have to go in here and we'll give it zero and zero and we will add just attribute as zero in here Best of things will remain same. Remember, we are writing these two rows just for these products, and these are fresh garlic and fresh mango. Okay, now we have to give it the link for your product image. So go in here, and we have to go to media library and add new, select files. And we have to select this mango and we have to select this garlic. Okay, open and it will open your files in here. Okay, now select this and copy this URL and paste inside mango row, inside images column, and go back and search for garlic and copy this and paste it in here okay now all the fields have been completed so we have to save this and go back and we have to go to products okay all products and we have to import now and choose this file you will create it or choose file and I'm going to select this file and most of all thing you have to check this option because we have different products in here that is already added inside our WordPress we have to just add this two one so we have to update other ones as well otherwise it will give you and continue and just go below and Run the importer. Okay, so it has given me an image view import log, and uh, it is telling me that we have updated the product, but we haven't added the remaining two products that is newly created inside the file. 
so that's important we have to go to all products and we have to select this import again and this time we do not need to check this one okay so continue and just select this run the importer okay now you can see imported two products imported and 13 products were skipped because the SQUs were already present for those 13 products so we have added two new products as we intended to add because we have added in here okay so now you can see mango and garlic is added inside our store so we were talking about the featured product this star sign is denoting that this product is featured so click on that it will help us to show these products inside here shop inside feature if you click on feature then these are the featured products and these products are this and we can add this is this and this so now you can see these products are now my featured products i'm going to add this this as well okay now you can understand how you can add our different products inside our store and how we can export and import our different products from our wordpress so let's have a quick break and then we will be talking about our home page let's have a quick break 